a brief note on that story of we shall see which I mentioned a few notes ago and then maybe probably again before that and turns out to be true uh, because I was just thinking yesterday a piece of extraordinary news somebody cried on CNN I mean in the panel in the a former, in fact, a former Obama official, advisor, or, um, part of the team. Uh, wonderful that Biden has one. And then, as it happens, a night of nightmare, a real nightmare, because I've been having these, I've been having these pains uh, in the stomach for quite some time. But last night, even in the morning, and then during the first part of the day up to here, it has been quite bad. Proving that narrative with the Zen master, we shall see. We shall see, it seems, with the horses. A horse is missing. Oh, it's so bad. People say, uh, detached Zen master says, we don't know. I mean, he, he only says we shall see. But with insight into the story we understand that we we, we don't know uh, what's going to happen wow such a victory and then i'm crushed by pain uh, plus the thought that this is this is going too far and the it's not a terror but the worry that uh, for one thing, it's milk and the pills. I still have a few going to do it. Uh, what if it gets worse? Uh, ambulance? If it's... I was thinking of... Um, I, will get back, I will get back in time for, for some... Uh, for this, for the illness, for uh, some episodes. One, I had pains when I was 9, 10, 11 as a teenager. And they discovered that there was a unique case of an ulcers at a very tender age. You get ulcers as you worry, as you eat uh, badly at the age of 20, 25. And, uh, but um, in my case, it was early, at nine. It seems to have been associated with other problems uh, that's one year and ten months I think it was so it's just uh, as an infant uh, I got TBC to tuberculosis and the way they treated it was uh, wrong uh, they cured this but gave me ulcers it seems uh, so <laughs> so Saturday Night Life in the, in the background with Jim Carrey playing Biden and saying loser to Trump. Uh, so, okay, that was that. And then uh, for a while I was mm, treated some medicine. I knew what I had to do to avoid, interestingly and badly, fruit and vegetables in raw state because they would increase the acidity to whatever. I, for, if I knew, if I ever knew, I forgot. So now I'm with uh, good habits. Uh, salad the spouse is making every day. I have to skip on that. I left a note. We don't speak. So I left a note saying I'm sick. I won't eat salad anymore. At least for a while. I, I, it's not clear what it's doing. It, it, it was thought it's uh, Coke, Coca-Cola. So I had, I had stopped that. I had stopped drinking weeks and weeks ago, maybe more than a month. Six weeks, two months. So what is it? Maybe it would be those soups with chemicals in them, in some... I don't know. So, at about what? 30, 
No, it would sound. Let me think. Oh, I was um, 30, 32, something like that. Just before getting married, I would say. Um, I was working in tourism. I was quite busy with this, with uh, all kinds of affairs, um, coitus interruptus, <laughs> um, chasing after women and so on. And one day, uh, walking up the stairs, climbing up the stairs to the office next to the Intercontinental Hotel, we were at the third floor, I collapsed. Arriving at the at the door of the office or just inside, I collapsed. I passed out. An ambulance had to be called, and they said to me, "Yes, it's internal bleeding from the outside." And one in three in your case dies or recovers. I can't remember what the odds were, as told by the doctor from the ambulance. But in any case, it didn't look good. If one in three chances to be uh, in a very serious condition or plus I had had knowledge of this that it, it is a chronic or serious disease that uh, if you don't uh, take care uh, you end up in uh, under surgery in the surgery for ulcers used to be I'm not, I don't know what it is now uh, it used to be a very, um, uh, in many ways, a very futile affair. You just, what they did, there's a hole in the wall of the stomach, or the duodenum, I mean, was it duodenal? Probably, perhaps. Uh, so they cut the part where the hole is and stitch it up, but then you have another hole quite soon and then they don't until you don't have a stomach anymore and that's quite bad luckily <laughs> we shall see again this is a proof we shall see come to think of it and the story of yesterday the story of we we, we, we do have to consider that it's uh, in, okay interesting we have to wait and see um, so I was hospitalized and an operation was in, in the works. I talked about it with my sister, who's a doctor now, and she was then in the US, already in Chicago, or maybe she was in Tennessee at that time. I, I think she was in Tennessee. Anyway, red state. So, so, um, but we'll bit so. So, uh, <laughs> on Wolf Blitzer now, I'm joking. Um, and she said, well, look, don't uh, get into operation. I will send you this treatment, which has just been launched on the market. It had been discovered for a well, short period of time, eh? but enough to have it confirmed, tested. And just like that, I... I was saved. Not only the operation was cancelled, I mean, I, but but also I'm more interested in what he says than what I'm saying. <laughs> True, so, yeah. So <laughs> good uh, humor. Humor is good to overcome this. Yeah, I have to remember positivity and believe in the future and so on. So yeah, let, let's just, plus it happened before it was safe. I was cured. No operation and no more ulcers. I could eat, I could, that was excellent. Uh, then again, I put some pressure on because uh, for a period I was tense here and uh, then I had what was thought to be a heart attack for a while. Uh, still a crisis, uh, another a breakdown, a collapse, uh, uh, passed out. At that time, the heart behaved strange. It's not clear to me if it was a heart attack, if it minor heart attack anyway. I mean, still it was uh, with uh, 
disturbances in the pulse and everything else with pains the appropriate symptoms uh, I don't know if it was established anyway because of what happened here we're getting to that inshallah uh, here problems with these motherfuckers around here in this area here everywhere this uh, stupid thinking spouses probably fine smoking and now years later this thing is back somehow I'm not sure and the worry yesterday was what what if I mean that with the COVID and this you don't uh, on the one hand I you don't even get for the emergency because they're uh, crowded with this thing. I don't know how crowded. I don't want to know. I don't want to find out. I hope it's not the case. But. And secondly, you get that on top of what you have. And because I was thinking perhaps I have to go to, to for a checkup to see what's going on if it's on to something. But let's, we shall see. Let's hope uh, it will be all right. So, inshallah, everything's. Try not to get worried. Try not to turn on to problems that upset you. Don't you know everything's all right? Yes, everything's fine. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Just close for that, and then let's think of the other one, Monty Python's. Uh, what's the What's the ending of the song they sing? Well, Jesus, well, Brian is crucified. Crucified. Um, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Hmm. It doesn't. Maybe it will come some other time.